Hello and welcome to The Bennett's Life. We have been having some car issues and it bothers Chris. Here's what's happening. I don't know how I'm getting home and Casey's not answering her phone. Sorry it's dark, but it's late. Here goes, the key is in. It's meant to start right now. What the hell is this? And then I was telling him, I've had a lot of car problems in my days. And I used to have my this Jeep. It was basically like my first car. And um, I had so many problems with this car. So it obviously when you first get a car, there's not problems. It's a little bit later down the line. But I did have a problem shortly after getting this car. And it wasn't so much the car as it was me. And I might have actually accidentally maybe close my eyes for a little bit and fall asleep on the wheel on the highway. Well, me and my friend were driving back from Arizona. We were on the freeway. I had not slept that night. It was early in the morning, maybe like at four or five, six. You know how in like you're like zoning off? And my friend was sleeping, but I, like she was exhausted too. Anyways, I didn't like hit somebody, but I just kind of like drifted into the other lane. And I know like obviously that's very dangerous and it could have been a lot worse than it was. But luckily I have like good guardian angels or something. And then I just kind of like slightly like tapped the other vehicle. And then obviously that little like bump, like kind of like huh, woke me up. <laughs> And then I just kept driving. Flash forward 30 miles and I'm at the gas station and all of a sudden I get surrounded by like three or four like Texas State Troopers. And I'm like, oh gosh. And they were like, excuse me, you were involved in a hit and run. No, I wasn't involved in a hit and run. They're like, yeah, they were like, couple pulled over, they called us, they gave us your plate and your car description and you need to come back with us. So I had to like follow, they like, front and back followed me all the way like 30 or 40 miles back to where the incident happened and the couple was there and like we stayed like separated because they I don't know I was like this is ridiculous because there was not a single scratch on my car not a single scratch on their car so I was like don't you think if it was a hit and run that there would be I don't know like some damage to either one of the vehicles just telling the story gets me annoyed at them but there was no damage, so I was like, I don't understand what the problem is. To make a long story short, they ended up siding with the um, other, the victims, I guess, if you wanna like go off of what they were saying. Um, they ended up siding with them, which I don't understand. Like, that's the part that made me the most mad, is that the cops weren't around to see what actually happened, but they gave me a ticket based off of like their story. So they went off their word versus my word. It was like a $300 ticket. I can't remember what exactly the term was. It wasn't like reckless driving, but it was like something like that, like, cause I went out of my lane. So needless to say, I learned my lesson. And if I ever do get like sleepy on the road, like especially now, like having a kid that doesn't happen but um, like I would just like pull over but then I was like young I was like 18 and I was like didn't want to get in trouble for being late so I just was like we can push it through and I should just pull over and got like an energy drink or a coffee or something but if you guys have ever had any annoying cop run-ins or <laughs> incidences I am so interested to hear your guys' story like I said I was very young then so I was like this is like one of the first times that I ever got in trouble kind of like off the cop so it shook me for like a little while but I was still like old enough to know that like it was wrong what they were doing like not listening to my side of the story and I think it was because I was like 18 and not from Texas so not saying anything but also, I am, um, <laughs> I don't know how to put this, but you know, like, I'm not, I don't, I didn't look like the other people. Like I was, you know, have some color to my skin and some texture to my hair. So not saying it was that, but who knows, um, yeah. Woo! New battery. $400 later. So thanks for watching guys. Um, leave a comment down below if you've had a similar situation. And if you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.